so this is kind of an unplanned video, but I thought it would be the perfect video to post on a Monday for a little back to homeschool motiv mot motivation. Mo mo motivation, what on earth? I, <laughs> notification and motivation, I could not. I could not get that to work. Anyway, here's your little back to homeschool modification on a Monday. Um, but I posted on Instagram today, which today is a Monday. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm a disaster. Monday, September 30th, so it's going up next Monday. But I thought it'd be perfect for a Monday. I posted today that uh, on my Insta stories, a little video or picture of me just sitting down in my driveway doing my Bible study. It was like 10.45. We had been outside for about a half an hour, and I said... I love how we've tweaked our schedule. Um, you know, now I'm done teaching by 10 a.m. And I got so many messages from people asking like, how, how are we making that work? Like, I need to know, like, I need a system. I'm teaching till two, I'm teaching till four. Um, so I thought I would just give an update on our schedule and also explain that a little bit because we're not done with school by 10 a.m., but I'm done with the, um, the part that I really have to prepare for, really be focused on, which is the, the teaching of lessons by 10. Um, and then we're doing more independent work until lunchtime. So I thought I would just go over the how and the why um, about our new schedule, which is so, so similar to our old schedule. I'll put a link up here. But as the school year started in uh, July, I started, um, you know, paying attention because I always do, just seeing like, does this work for our family right now? And there was only one area that I swapped. So let's just get right into it. Um, formerly, our schedule was like eight to nine morning basket, nine to 10 uh, science and math, I believe. We're outside 10 to 11 or so, 11 to 12, we were working on reading, independent work and such. So basically I moved math to the afternoon, or to the, after our break and reading earlier in the day because their math is independent on the computer and um, their independent work is obviously independent. I'm still in the room, but I'm not having to teach. I'm just there to guide, answer questions, etc. And so then I can have more time with my younger two. So basically the way our schedule works right now is from eight to nine, we are doing our morning basket, which is the bulk of our family subjects. So in our morning basket, we're doing all of our memory work. We're doing all of our, um, you know, Charlotte Mason composer study, picture study, our habit study, all of that. Um, and that's really eight to nine or nine fifteen or so. And before that we are doing our chores and all that. So we do start right at eight just because that's what works for our family. I'm big on the early bird gets the worm. I also believe from then this is just a personal belief, not saying everybody should do this, but I believe that the one benefit to like, or one of the benefits to a traditional school schedule is that you do get up, get moving with purpose and intention, and that serves you well. It's a habit that serves you very well if you go into a traditional job, um, you know, nine to five type of job, or it just, I feel like that has served me well, um, even in being a stay at home mom, just being able to get up and get moving. Um, and so I definitely, it's a habit that's important for me to teach my kids. So they get up and they get moving. We don't have a lot of lazy mornings we do on the weekends, but I just feel like it serves our family well to spend that free time in the afternoon instead of uh, using it up in the morning, uh, delayed gratification. So we do get up, get chores done, start school pretty much right at eight on the dot. I ring the five minute bell at 7.55, we start school at eight. Um, so we're doing our morning basket subjects then, and then from nine to 10 is where I made the little bit of a change. So now from nine to 10 or 9.15 to 10.15 or so, I do give a little break in between subjects is when we are doing either our history or our science as well as our reading. So my kids use the um, Simply Charlotte Mason Using Language Well and Spelling Wisdom. My older two use that. And so they're at the table doing that. My younger guy, and, and so for them, I can just um, go over the lesson with them, which those lessons are very brief. They're less than 15 minutes long. Um, I'll go over the lesson with them for a couple of minutes, but then the majority of that lesson is them 
studying the passage on their own and getting ready to transcribe it. Um, and so, and then they're checking their own work as well. So I am teaching a small portion of that lesson, but the rest of it, they sit there and they study until they're ready for me to read it to them. And then I can just take the um, passage with me on the floor with my little guy and I can read their passage to them wherever they're at um, and they'll work on their um, transcription. So then um, my five-year-old and I are sitting on the floor doing his all about reading, um, which is fun. And I've always done that like on the floor. I know I did a lesson, a formal lesson video where I put him at the table just to show you on camera. I'll put that up in the corner if you're interested. But for the most part, we're doing the lesson the same way, but we're on the floor. Um, and that just helps so much with him being just in a comfortable place. It takes away that tension um, or the nerves of reading. And we're usually, he grabs the bean bag from back here and drags it into the schoolroom and he's sitting on the bean bag and we're on the floor doing reading. So I'm very engaged for those two hours, teaching the family subjects and teaching science or history um, and then teaching reading, which, you know, if everyone's in the same place, everybody's in a, you know, in the mood to work, we're all, we all have that same mindset. We go outside right at 10, we're all getting stuff done. And then I can put my feet up for the rest of the day as far as my brain power goes um, and focus on more play-based learning with my younger ones. So we finish that, we go outside for an hour. This is so important for them just to get the break because we did hit some subjects pretty hard. We do subjects quickly. We don't do lessons that are very exhausting, but we have done quite a bit at that point. And then we're outside for a while, which is when I usually do my own personal Bible study um, for a class that we're a part of because then I have to help them with theirs in the evening time. Um, and so I'll just do mine at a separate time. Then we'll come inside at 11 and from 11 to 12, 12, 15 or so is when they're doing their Spanish, you know, or their, um, uh, typing or their handwriting and their math. Their math takes about 30 to 45 minutes each day. Their teaching textbooks does. But now that we have an iPad, um, one of them will do it on the iPad. One of them will do it at the computer. And then when they're done with that, they'll alternate on the computer, um, doing alternate being at the table, doing their handwriting or being at the computer, doing their typing or Spanish, depending on which day it is. Um, and then that's it. So then we pretty much covered our whole school day. There are other things that we consider to be school, like our read aloud time or our quiet time, but those are not traditional school subjects and I'm not teaching read aloud and I'm not teaching quiet time. So um, I hope that helps just clarify what I meant when I said that, or maybe it encourages you to shift your schedule around if that's something that sounds nice to you. Um, again, I think any good homeschool schedule is a blend of a little bit of a challenge or you know trying to form a habit yes but also your natural family rhythms and for us we're an early rising family um, and we like to be outside a lot and so in order to be outside we try to get our school work done by a certain time so that we can then go enjoy the remainder of our day and pursue other interests whether that's crafting or nature study or just being at the beach or just having good time together as a family. Um, so that is how our schedule has changed, but you'll see it's not too much different than the schedule that I shared earlier in the um, school year, my back to homeschool week. I just did tweak a couple of those subjects and it has made a huge difference. I also wanted to mention, I'll slip this in somewhere, during that time when the kids are doing their independent work, I'm usually in the same room as them, either in the kitchen or in the homeschool room, you know, they're, they're right next to each other. I'm either helping get their lunch put together or I'm on the floor in the homeschool room doing some play-based preschool with my um, two-year-old and also, oh, I didn't, I don't think I said that my, my kindergartner is doing math worksheets while my kids are doing their math on the computer, but he's in kindergarten. It's very simple. It's not like, um, a very difficult <laughs> subject for me to prepare or teach. It's just worksheet style. Anyway, but during that hour, I'm usually on the floor with them, both of them, because my kindergartner still very much, you know, loves doing the preschool style work. Um, and I'm doing stuff with them on the floor in there. So I am in the same room as them. I don't ditch my kids while they're doing their independent work. It's definitely important for me to be checking in on them and making sure that they're staying on task. 
my third grader, the big deal with him right now is that he's going through his teaching textbooks very quickly, but he's not checking his work or showing his work. And I need him to show his work because then I can't help him if he's confused. So I'll walk over there every couple of minutes and check on him, make sure he's writing things down. Um, but anyway, I just wanted to slip that in there. So let me know how your homeschool year is going now that we're a couple of months in, some of us a couple of weeks in, others. Um, if you've made any changes to your schedule, some years I've totally overhauled our schedule. This year I'm like, yes, I think I finally like really hit the nail on the head as far as understanding my family's routine six years into this homeschooling journey. Um, and we really haven't had to change much, so I'm excited about that. But I would love to know where you guys are at, what changes you've made, or if everything stayed the same and you're just an awesome mom who needs no help. Let me know in the comments below and I will see you for the next Modification Monday. <laughs>